Well, hey y'all, Merry Christmas. I'm not ready at all, are you? Cause I'm not. Who really actually is prepared by now? That's weird to me if you are. Anyways, hi, I'm Max. Welcome to White Buffalo Divine. Come on in. I would say have a seat, but it's messy back here. I'm not even gonna lie. So I haven't done anything for y'all in a minute. I have had some more stuff happen. Uh, today in particular was just such a, um, mm, these days I, I can't make this stuff up. Um, I went to church tonight and um, a good friend of mine transitioned a couple months back unexpectedly and caught us all off guard. And tonight I'm at church and his mom approaches me for the first time. I have not seen her in years. And y'all, I freaking started bawling on the spot. Like one of those surprise, hey, I haven't seen you in years type of, of scenarios. But like the first thing she does is she grabs onto me and apologizes about my mom. And then pff, I'm like, you're here apologizing about my mom and you just lost your son. And so to Jeej, all my love, I cannot even with you. That was such a special moment and um, we need to get coffee. So with that being said, hello, welcome again. We're gonna throw some cards. I don't know what all is gonna come through. The energy is through the roof today, like I said, a lot of uh, spiritual magic, as I like to call it, happening. And if it's going on with me, I know for a fact it's going on with you. Hopefully what uh, is going to be down is resonating with you. If it's not, I'm sorry. I uh, hope to see you back soon. Not all of my readings will resonate with everybody. Um, and, uh, I've really kind of been feeling like an anxious energy lately, um, in particular, but it's like an anticipation for something big. Um, I've been feeling that the last couple of days in particular, uh, and I think as a collective, I'm really sensing that there's almost like a, an, um, that's what I'm looking for. This is going to sound strange. Alien-esque energy. It's going to feel so completely different from anything you've experienced before. And it's going to be a lot of it all at once. So it's going to kind of throw you for a loop. Uh, at least that's the energy that I'm connecting with tonight. So let's throw some cards. Let's see what we're coming into. I missed y'all. Hope everything's going well. Y'all have been working on your spirituality. I see big time coming out of the cold in a very dark space, not even wanting to talk church, not even wanting to say the word church. Totally different story on what I'm picking up right now. Delay in action uh, of some type. There was a hesitation, big time, months, lasted months. Yeah, what did you say? Um, Caused a lot of internal heartbreak of you self-sabotaging. Um, but the desire and the foundation was there. Let me, show, let me show you why I say that. So, Knight of Wands in the reverse. No action, delay of action, but the want was there. And then it was almost like you were uh, delaying communication as well which, I mean, this all speaks to everything. There's like internal turmoil that had been going on and I feel like this is past energy. Uh, flip-flop, I'm hearing flip-flop. Like there's been a, a weird flip-flop in personality and energy. Um, let's throw some more, hold on. We'll get some clarification. What's, it, what's this flip-flop thing about? What am I, where is that coming from? Okay, secrets coming out. And then another stalled energy, <laughs> hanged man. Um, okay, so... There's been some type of offer that you've been waiting to have come in. It's been extremely 
irritating to you because it's been delayed. There's something about, there's been so many different processes involved that had delayed this way past a deadline date. And, and this could be job, love, uh, uh, I'm hearing the word building, something construction-wise, building-wise. Um, and what has happened is the flip-flop energy that I'm picking up on, whatever was, was not coming in, it's going to sound weird. I don't know how else to explain this. Whatever was not coming in was tied in to your spiritual journey in some aspect, okay? Um, and... It was at that time that you decided to put in some um, cold hard truths with yourself in some... Okay, so let me back up. Part of the reason there's hesitation on my end. Um, I'm getting two different things. I'm seeing one uh, group of you was waiting to get some type of clarification from a counselor or a loved one or having a conversation with someone that you felt was going to have some type of advice that was going to put you in the right direction with this offer that was coming in but the conversation didn't happen or the conversation itself was delayed which delayed your communication on your end which caused more internal sabotage and heartbreak if that makes sense. But there's been something that's come to the forefront, especially with this last full moon I'm hearing on 1212. Um, it put you in a stagnant energy. It, There's something about a seven being involved. Seven days, seven grand, seven, seventh, January 7th, 70,000. I'm, I'm, it's numeric. There's something, um, excuse me, there's, it's financial related. There's something with sevens involved. Um, that's coming out of nowhere. Sorry. Um, Long story short, there's been a flip-flop. You're walking out of this past energy is what I'm saying, involving sevens. So there's that. I don't know. This is getting weird. Let's go deeper. It's been a day, y'all. Okay. It's been a day, but a good one. So hopefully that means yours was too. And now I can't shuffle now that I'm on camera. Um, you have all your Christmas shopping done? Your wrapping? Your travel plans? your family plans. I heard through the great friend, my brother's having Christmas on Sunday and I have no clue if that's accurate or not. Okay. I mean, that's just kind of like how my family plans things. It's last minute. Love you, bro. Thank you for hosting again. <laughs> so glad it's not me. Um, what was this energy coming? What was the stagnant energy about? What Why were you coming out of the cold anyways with your spirituality? I want to know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, y'all. Um, that's why. Because you got wisdom over something, and it was because of your manifestation. It was because you came into some type of gifts of your own. Um, I'm connecting with an energy that has had major signs and synchronicities off the charts that are unexplainable, that were confirming what you were feeling. What I just tell you, your perception was shifted because of it. Major emotional breakdown. Um, heavy communication as well. It's been targeted though. There's heavy communication coming in. Perception. What I tell you about that flip flop? I'm telling you, the perception had been flipped. And it brought emotions to the forefront. There was something about you not willing to acknowledge. And you're ready to talk now. Heavy communication. This is um, Ace of Air. Okay, and obviously this card speaks straight strategy to me and it's going to be, it's very targeted, fiery, passionate, um, and directed, very direct communication. Um, what's this communication coming in? Either this is you sending communication out or there's someone coming in with communication. Uh, I feel like it's you. Maybe not. Tell me, leave me some comments. Let me know what, what who am I connecting with? 
What's this communication coming in about? Oh, oh. Body and mind. Okay, so a few things here. Either there is an issue from your past childhood that needs to be resolved in some fashion, possibly time to get some professional help if you haven't already. And if this isn't for you, this is for the person you're thinking about. They need to get some type of professional help uh, or they are currently seeking help. There's, there's, uh, I'm seeing a, a hamster wheel actually going round and round and they finally step off the hamster wheel. There's a point about stepping off of the hamster wheel with this uh, and it's partially because there had been analysis paralysis in some, at some point um, and now this person is deciding to put their mental health as much of a priority as their emotional health. Um, the other thing that I am seeing is also that there could be potential communication about someone uh, revolving around children. Um, I'm seeing this is a conversation of, of, uh, one is a straight, um, custody battle. There's, I'm hearing custody battle. One is a straight custody battle. Whoever, there's one specific with that one. Um, and you have no clue it's coming. Okay. So. I'm sorry, whoever that, you got a heads up, but there's something about that. Um, and then the other energy that I'm connecting with here, this is about wanting to have kids with someone or um, if you already have kids with this person, you want another kid with this person. There's something about wanting kids and, and having a birth together uh, here. And this also could be the birth of a new relationship as well. Uh, however, this new relationship, again, could be more of a spiritual journey, mind, body, soul. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting lots of, of messages. Um, what don't you see coming? Hmm? I always like that question. Does it ever come true? I need some advice. Tell me. Let me know. What don't you see coming? Self-love. A lot of thoughts. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, y'all, this is sweet. When I just tell you about analysis paralysis, right? Because you can't stop thinking about yourself. Okay, so it's time to give to others and be a servant. And I mean, I know you probably give a lot already, but can we go a little bit more? It's the holidays, y'all. Okay, Jesus is watching or whoever your person, uh, prophet is. Okay, well, just whoever your prophet is watching, your Jesus is watching. Okay, what I'm saying here is, you're going to have some serious analysis paralysis, but you're going to overcome it and you're going to master your thoughts, which is fantastic. And the best part is, is whatever this communication that's coming in, it's like there's a reveal of some type behind it. So whether this is your energy revealing, pulling your mask back, or the person uh, that you are thinking of is doing that to you, there's some type of reveal here. So um, I want to get a little bit of clarification. I'm actually going to use my archetype cards. Um, I want to know what this reveal is about. What is this reveal coming out? Okay, so... The communication coming in or that is going out is you are connecting with someone that is from the same soul tribe as you, meaning that um, everything they do triggers you in a soul bond type of way because it's so similar to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting um, with this card. If you wanted to go a little bit further, look at the hands reaching out. Um, obviously there's the rainbow there, which is a lot of different meanings. Um, this could be same sex couple as well, obvious, or, uh, this also represents prosperity, abundance, um, communication, the water underneath also represents emotion. And the fact that there's a reflection, this is very much, like I said about a soul bond, there's a reflection, this person, there's a reflection of you and them and them and you in some capacity. Even if this is a business, like I said, when we were talking about the offer and the construction or the building, even if this is a business partnership, there's still something here about bridging a partnership of some type. 
and the and there's one person on the end of the spectrum who has no clue this reveal is coming this communication this partnership this uh ready uh, commitment something like that so um let's go one more further what is the future energy coming up for the last two weeks of 2019 y'all Okay. Okay. Is this a race to the finish here? What's going on? Let's black stallion. I'm seeing sun rays. I'm seeing happy. This is also a representation of the sun card to me um, in the Rider Waite deck. And I say that because there's sunshine. There's a horse. Um, there actually looks like there's a figure riding the horse in this. There's a figure, There's a child riding the horse in the other deck. But um, I'm going to read this straight from the book on here. Future energy coming your way. Page 79. 7, 9, 79 may have meaning for you. Okay. Future energy. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eye. This archetype will journey far and wide, seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach. Tales of bravery and feats of strength often result, creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, skillful, quick, decisive, and results-oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Ar Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? And is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? Study the Greek goddess Artemis. Notice her nuanced relationship to the moon, the earth, and the feminine. The predator honors its prey with a precise and skillful hunt. The hunter deeply reveres the life it aims to take. Well, all right then. 1717 on the clock there, and I'm going to end that for the night. Uh, I have no clue who this was meant for. Please leave me a comment below if this resonated with you. I didn't have to use my glasses, y'all. You should be proud of me. Like, I'm kind of impressed just for tonight. It'll be bad tomorrow again, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, uh, I am going to be taking the channel in a different direction in 2020. I've got a few ideas I'm really excited about. I'm going to be making some changes, uh, and I cannot wait for you to join me and share all of that with you. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you get a good meal. Whatever your holiday is, all my love. I wish you the very best of prosperity and abundance. Uh, I may be making another video before the new year, uh, but I do also want to kind of take a step back and really um, spend some time with my family. And um, yeah, I am praying for you and yours and wish you the very best. So thank you so much for stopping by. All my love. Good night.